Okay, 5.1 functions uh, for the learning outcomes for today. First, sketch the graph of the function. They state the domain and range of the function. Now we focus on the piecewise function. Alright, uh, piecewise function. A uh, definition for a piecewise function is a function which is defined by different expressions which is function, for different parts of its domain. For example, let's say we have a function defined that consists of three uh, functions, which is x plus 2, where x less than 0, the domain, the first domain, x less than 0, x cubed for the domain, half open, 0 to 2, and then for the negative 2x minus 3, which is linear, for the domain x greater or equal than 2. So this is, we call it functions, and the right-hand side, we call it domain. Okay, for the example given, uh, x plus 2, we substitute x0 here. x0. When x0 is substitute here, you get y2. Okay, and then this is open circle. And the second one is when x, this is a linear equation with the gradient positive. When x0 now, when x0, we substitute x0 into this, you get y equals to 0, which is then circle. This one, then circle. We have then circle here. And then when x is equal to 2, you get y equals to h, which is open circle. And the last, and before that, this is a cubic function. And the last one, when x is equal to 2, you get y equals to negative 7. This is a linear function with a gradient negative. So how to sketch the graph? Okay, first, when x0, you get y2. y2 is here. So this is open. When x0, y0. The second one, this is closed. Close. Okay. And then when x2, y8. So this is 8. Open. And last one, when x2, y negative 7, below. Okay, here. Okay, so how to sketch the graph? Alright. When x less than 0, this is a linear equation. When x0, y2, linear equation with the gradient positive. Positive. And then from 0 to 8 is a cubic function. So there is a curve there. And from x greater equal to 2 is a linear equation. So we have write this. Okay, so the domain. So how to read the domain? The domain is from negative infinity, comma, 0, close, 0 to 2, also close, so to infinity. How about the range? So the range, negative infinity from the below, until y0, there is a graph. 0 to 2 also have a graph until it open okay okay examples uh, given sketch the graph below hence find the domain and range so we have three examples here a b and c so let's try to start with the a first Okay, let's try this example. We have a piecewise function fx defined for the first part is negative x squared where 
x less than 0. So this one, we substitute x 0. So you get y 0. So this one is open. Circle. Okay. Open. And then when x is 0 or so, we have here is y is 5. So this is a closed then circle. Alright. So for this one, for x less than 0, we have uh, this one is quadratic equation, which a maximum point, this shape. And this one is a linear equation with the gradient positive, so the shape is like this. Okay, then uh, we sketch the graph when x is 0. So x is 0. Y 0. Open. Okay, when x 0, at the same time, y is 5. 5 is here. And this one is close. Alright, close. So what is the graph? Okay, so... We read from this. This is the domain x less than 0, meaning the quadratic graph is on your left hand side, which is left than x, uh, x0 on your left. So this is a quadratic until here. Okay. And then for x greater or equal than 0, so we have gradient positive, which this is fine. So we just want only this graph. We ignore x less than 0. So how to read the domain? Okay, the domain we read from the x-axis. So look at the x-axis. When we start from negative infinity, we can see that the graph is until 0, 0, 0 open and close, close. So from 0 to infinity, we have the graph. So the domain is from negative infinity, infinity. So the graph is infin negative infinity, infinity. So infinity. Okay, how about the range? So look at the bottom. So from negative infinity, comma, until zero, open. And zero to five, there is no graph. So this is union. And we start with five until infinity. Okay, for the second example, we have fx equals to 1 minus x for x less or equal than 1. And the other one is modulus x plus 2 when x greater than 2. Okay, for the first part, you just substitute x1, 1 here. So you get y0, right? So this is close. This is close. Then circle. Alright, so this is then circle. Alright, when x equal to 2, substitute here. And from here, actually it's y equals to 4. Okay, uh, this one we have two functions actually. So, one is x plus 2, the other one x plus 2. So we use this one because of the domain x greater than 2. Alright, y4, this is open. Alright, how to sketch the graph when x is 1, the y is 0. So here, And then when x is 2, y is 4. Open. Okay.
So we know that this one is 1 minus x with the gradient negative. So this is the shape of the graph. And then this one is a V-shape, but we need the only positive. So we need this only. Alright, so the graph is for x less or equal than 1, the graph is like this at 1. And then for the second one, when 2, x4, the graph is like this. So from here, we can write the domain. The domain is from negative infinity, comma, until 1, close. And 1 to 2, there is no graph. So combine union, open 2 to infinity and how about the range so look at the graph below one there is no graph at y so below y1 at, sorry below y y0 below y0 there is no graph so the graph start at y0 meaning that you start y0 comma until at 4 open, disclose so until infinity. Alright, for the third function, there are three functions there. So we just substitute from here. So the first part is when x equals to 0. When x equal to zero, so you get so you get y equals to two minus zero two. So this is close then circle. All right. So when x is two, there is two part here. When x equal to two, so touch it here. Y equals to six. This is also close then circle. And then when x equals to six. You get y equals to 6 plus 4, you get 10. 10, so close. And then when x equals to 6, yeah, just done, you get y equals to 18. This is open. Alright, so how to sketch the graph? Before you sketch the graph, we can see that this one is quadratic function, which is this shape. This one is linear with a gradient positive and this one also is a linear with a gradient positive. So let's sketch the graph for each point. So you have all this point from 2, close and then we x2, y6, close both close and then when x6 you get y18 open so from here we can write the domain from so look at this one the domain negative infinity until 0 0 to 2 there is no graph so there's open there and then from 2 to 6 there is a graph 6 to infinity also a graph so the domain is from negative to infinity, 0, close, union 2, infinity. How about the range? So the range, we start negative infinity to 2, of, uh, union 2 to 6, there is no graph. So 6 to 10, there is graph, union 18, open to infinity. Okay, for the last example, this is a uh, homework for you. So I hope you can try. Uh, this is for homework. DIY. Okay.